Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I want my audience to know this year nearly 2.5 million couples are expected to tie the knot in the United States alone. That's making 2022 the year of the wedding. So joining us now for this discussion is the latest wedding and the latest wedding trends of what to expect this year is the wedding expert at Shutterfly, Claire Roche. Claire, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So happy to be here and chat all things wedding. Well, this upcoming wedding season will be one of the busiest of our lifetime. I, we have in my family several people who are tying the knot, as they say. So yeah. tell me, some. what are some of the top trends that you're seeing at spring and summer weddings this year? Yeah, I would say the top trend that I'm seeing is that couples are getting a lot more creative with their wedding. They're having a lot more fun with it. They are doing what they want to do, not doing what they just feel like they have to do, which I think is a good thing. Um, I'm seeing fewer and fewer big weddings and more smaller weddings and more creative weddings. So it might be a wedding weekend where it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday situation, um, or perhaps you're just inviting fewer people. So I'm loving that for couples because number one, it allows them to really build out a day and their wedding. That's truly something that they're really excited for. Um, Also, I'm seeing a lot of times that couples are still spending the same amount of money that they would on a huge wedding on a smaller wedding. They're just enhancing their smaller wedding. So they're making it more custom. They're spending more on flowers. They're doing fun little details, which I am always a huge fan of. Um, And that's why I honestly love places like Shutterfly because they make it so easy to be able to um, customize your wedding, whether it's custom napkins or custom favors or whatever it might be. Shutterfly makes it affordable and easy to apply. And it leaves your guests feeling like you really did put a lot of thought into your wedding, which is a good thing. So I think overall, I'm seeing couples have a lot more fun planning their wedding, which I think is a great thing. You've given a lot of ideas out. So a couple who's listening and they're just starting Mm -hmm. to plan their wedding. What do you, what do you, what would you like to say to them or what advice would you give them? Yeah. A few pieces of pieces of advice. I've been around the block a couple times planning quite a few weddings. I would say the first thing is after you get engaged, you want to celebrate, take the time to just enjoy being engaged because once wedding planning starts, it really does not stop. (laughs) So be sure you enjoy the time that you have. And then you're going to want to set a budget, which obviously is not very exciting to do, but it's very easy to overspend. And so you want to set a really clear budget. Then you want to book your venue because your venue gives you your wedding date. And once you have a wedding date, you can really do everything else. I also would really encourage couples to prioritize the top three things that matter to them both um, so that as you walk into wedding planning, you have a very clear vision. You know, getting married in 2022, that's some unique challenges. How are couples right. handling things like higher prices and limited availability of the things that they want? Yeah. Couples are definitely feeling that. As a wedding planner, I am inquiring and connecting with vendors on couples' behalf, and I am seeing that prices are going up, availability is limited, we're booking things further and further out for that reason. So what I'm encouraging couples to do is, again, to prioritize. Like, what are the three things that you actually really do care about? And we are going to be committed to investing in those and and really prioritizing those, obviously. Um, The other thing that I'm encouraging couples is to have a flexible mindset. It's good to have a flexible mindset anytime you're planning a wedding, no matter what year, but specifically in this year, just be ready to accommodate, be flexible, um, and just do the best you can. I really do think you can make a wedding happen for however much money you have. You just have to, again, you got to be flexible, willing to accommodate and take it as it comes. Okay. I heard, and someone posted this on Instagram. They say they heard 
uh, that you're obsessed with the often forgotten and overlooked details of a wedding, and that's what you focused on. Uh, you focus on a lot. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. I I love to make sure that we're covering all of our bases. I've been to enough weddings at this point that it all feels pretty intuitive to me. So I like to do my best on our platforms and just when I'm showing tips and tricks to really set our couples up for success. And anybody that is learning tips and tricks from our channel or from Shutterfly, I like to make sure we're not forgetting those little details. <laughs> okay. Uh, where can we get more information, especially as you're planning your wedding? Yeah, a great place to go is Shutterfly.com or Shutterfly on any social media platform. Claire Roche, thank you so very much. Uh, next time you'll have to come back thank and you. talk about the engagement. I flew 500 miles Sounds just for an good. engagement, so that was pretty <gasps> fun. Wow. Yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.